Hey there, my fellow designers and creators. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in this course. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and connect the animation over here with the button. So when I tap on the button, as you can see over here, when I press down and I release my finger, the animation is triggered, right? By default, it's playing the entire animation because that's how we exported it. We set the value to be 1000 and then we exported it. So that's why it's playing that. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and see how to link this up. And in the next video, we can go ahead and create the input field for us to enter a specific value that we want, right? So without any further ado, let's get started. So how do we do this? Now, what we wanna do is if I open up the panels, all right, I can click here. And what we basically have is a touch and a touch, right? But when we touch up, I want two things to happen. I want the state to change back to the default state because when I release my finger, the button should come back up. And at that point, we want to trigger the animation that we want. Now a quick recap in Rive. So here we had the button. So if I go to the animate tab and I went to the state machine, right in the button animation over here, what we basically did was this is the trigger, which is called start animation, which would happen when I press, when I release my finger. So when I did the pointer up, which is basically touch up or releasing my finger, we basically fired the start animation. And we want to replicate this thing exactly in play as well. So if I come back to play over here, at this point, when I release my finger, I want two things to happen. The first one is set state, but I also want it to trigger the animation. So if I click here, it says go to main to edit instance interactions. Now, what that basically means that I have to come over here to the instance and then I have to add that over here. But I don't want to do this at a component level. I want to do it at an instance level because I might have multiple other use cases for each of the buttons. And because this button is specifically going to target the interaction, I want to add it over here. So instead of adding it over here, which you know, which is coming from the button, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a separate one that is just linked to this instance. So I'm gonna click here and I'm going to say touch and I'm gonna say touch up, all right? When I touch up, all right? I wanna go ahead and click on plus and now I can choose what to do. Now, if I search for Rive, we have three items. We have something called as Rive set text, Rive input, and play pause Rive. So a quick primer into what this is. Play pause Rive is basically you having the ability to play or stop an animation. Think of it as a video player and you press on the pause button and then the video stops. You can do that with Rive animations. Then you have Rive set text, which is basically where you can change the text of an actual Rive element all right, so if the text in Rive says, you know, text one, you can change it to whatever you want. In this case, we want to set the Rive input because the triggers and the booleans and the inputs and the numbers are actually inputs. It's basically referring to this where, we, where it says inputs. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose set Rive input, okay? Now, what do I want it to target? Of course, we need to target the Rive animation, right? It needs to affect the Rive animation. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Rive animation. And now this is the state machine. It should, I would basically call this state machine instead of state. And then here you have state machine. And now, which is the input? Now we have four inputs. We just want to choose the start animation because when I now go ahead and tap on the button, I touch up, it goes ahead and starts the animation, all right? And at the same time, it's also going to change the state back to the default state, all right? But the only difference here is that the button the main component has the basic animations of changing it between the highlighted states and the default state. But this instance that we created has this additional one where when I touch up, it goes ahead and triggers the animation. So let's see if this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back my phone. Okay, so now if I click here on the button, it's in the press state and when I release, you can see it triggers the animation. All right, perfect. Now the default, I exported it with the value of 1000. So because the final score is 1000, it plays the entire thing, right? What we want to do is we want to be able to choose the number so that when I enter the score, it plays it accordingly to the score. So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and create the input field so that we can go ahead and enter a value over there and the animation should then play based on that. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing awesome content. And see you guys in my next video. So then take care and bye-bye.